Hello, this is the first ukulele printed on a RepRap 3D printer. Uh, this was printed on this printer, it is a Mendel Max RepRap printer. Uh, I took the model from Thingiverse, uh, where 3D Guy published the entire STL model of a soprano ukulele in full size. Uh, and he printed it on a professional 3D printer. It costed $170, but I decided to, uh, to modify the model so that it would be printable on a printer like this. And the print of this ukulele costed like 20 euros to me. This is the original model of the complete ukulele that I downloaded from Thingiverse, uploaded by 3D Guy under the Creative Commons license. I decided to print this on a RepRap printer, so I cut this in order to avoid any support material. I made uh, one part with the top of the body, uh, the bottom of the body, and I added some parts to make the two parts apply with each other. Then I cut the neck and the fretboard in two parts so that they can be applied one on top of uh, the other one, and these can be printed without support material at all. They have holes to make the two parts coincide at the exact place and preserve intonation of the instrument. Then there is the head with, the, uh, with this part, which is applied exactly in here, at the end of the, of the neck. You see, this, is, uh, this goes into the hole, like this, and this, this is where the, the head is applied. So the purpose was to make all the instrument without any support material. il chunk è proprio figo perché c'ha <ride> l'action alta quindi viene fuori proprio <ride> whole process take to, to have this prototype done? Uh, the, the, this you prototype know? is made of several parts and uh -huh. the total print time of this instrument you have in your hands it was under 20 hours. Okay, so basically you just go to sleep and they wake up with new uke on your table. Exactly, yeah, at the morning it. I found it. After you get used to it, you can certainly strum and do whatever you want. It. The action is just a little bit too high for my taste, but it's cool, I mean you can play it. It's uh, it's it is not an obstacle. Yeah, the good thing about m making uh, open source musical instruments is that people can download this, can yeah, modify, can, can adapt. Yeah, you can always modify that. I mean, if you're if you're not happy with it, you can just you know lower it down and uh, and and you have it. You have your own. They view. can be modified by people. They can up reupload it. They can follow the usual path of any open source project, so that uh, people can print. Uh, instruments at home uh, or at schools, for example, 